all right so at this point we can chat with any users listed here but uh, in this video what I will do is uh, we will show the typing status if someone is uh, typing then it should show other user that this one this user is typing message all right so before doing that I want to fix uh, one issue so whenever we refresh so we see blank page because we haven't selected any of our friends here so yeah let's do that let's go to private set component and here uh, inside fetch users so on created event we are fetching user and after on the users are uh, fetched we want to assign the active friend uh, any one user okay so to do that uh, what we'll do is so here inside fetch users method after uh, we get successful response and then we'll assign this dot active friend this dot active friend equals to uh, let's do one thing this users contains all of all user alright so if we grab first user then it will be us so uh, we don't want uh, uh, ourselves to assign anything so what we'll do uh, is instead of users let's call it uh, let's create another uh, array called friends another property so that will be the computed property computed instead of users let's call it friends so which will be based on users return this dot users but we'll filter it we'll filter ourselves out and only return um, the other user so we'll get user and then we'll filter out return user dot id if this shouldn't be uh, this shouldn't be equals to this dot user id so this dot user will be this props that we'll getting from so this user is currently logged in user so uh, friends contains all of uh, the friends okay now here we don't need to loop through users we can loop through friends all right let's move it upward and now we don't need to check this thing if uh, user is not equals to friends so a little refactor there let's go to our application and reload the page yeah so everything works uh, exact same like before so now what we uh, we can do is uh, we get a bit uh, easier here so on created of this uh, on created event of this component we are fetching users so let's go to fetch users and after user got fetched what we'll do is uh, we'll assign this dot active friend equals to this dot friends so this dot friends uh, will grab the first friend and assign the id of that first friend to active friend all right so let's refresh and see yeah there we go so now we do not get blank we got first object all right so let's uh, go how we can do uh, someone is typing let's uh, open two users side by side all right so here two users are loaded side by side so when this web dev is typing uh, it should show that this web dev is typing over here somewhere so let's create a layout first so we'll display a simple span inside our list of messages so this is the uh, list of messages and this is the tile which we are looping through to display messages all right so uh, let's put uh, we have put that a simple uh, paragraph tag inside private message box uh, which can be displayed here so it is static for now 
uh, we'll make this dynamic in a moment so first thing what we need to do is uh, whenever someone is typing we need to emit emit that event all right so this is our text field and when someone uh, to just key up create this method on typing yeah on key up or key down so let's create this method and this method will emit uh, the event so on typing what we'll do is uh, let's grab this on same channel so we'll whisper this event typing event like so okay and now at this point we are emitting this event on typing also we need to listen for this uh, this whisper event so that uh, we can also see if someone is someone else is typing all right so that we can do on our created event so here uh, we can also listen for whisper let's make another one listen for whisper so this is provided by echo and the whisper event is typing and we receive that object that we just passed like so and what we'll do is uh, this event will guard that user object and this dot typing user equals to e dot user all right so let's uh, we assign that typing user also equals to this dot user so this dot user will be whatever user that is typing at the moment all right so we need to create that typing user typing friend so for now it is null and yeah, this will be object so it is better to create the empty object so typing friend and now what we can do here instead of hard coding that we have name all right typing friend dot name is typing uh, actually it is typing user let's make it typing friend all right so typing friend so now let's test so as you can see it is uh, showing this typing we'll only show if there is any uh, active friend so sorry active note typing friend so v if if typing friend dot name all right all right so let's test uh, here we are web dev and we want we are typing but it didn't show that let's see why uh, so the reason why we didn't get this is so if we got something uh, pusher related error uh, we need to go to pusher.com so if you see in this uh, debug console let's see let's try typing once more yeah we are getting but uh, we are getting client event. so to send client event you must enable this feature in setting page of your dashboard so setting so enable client events update now let's go to debug console and if we hit any typing event yeah this time we are getting right so we got everything okay So now let's give it a taste. Let's 
refresh both page so now web tab is typing I am typing so I got some Chrome extension that is blocking that so if you got same thing I use this uBlock origin uh, disable strict blocking for this permanently all right so if you get something like this just click on this and disable that let's refresh both so again this is blocking what we do uh, let's mm, let's remove this extension all right so uh, let me give you a quick recap so we created uh, this typing so paragraph or uh, div so where we will display someone is typing status and when someone on key down we are emitting this typing we are calling this typing on typing method which is emitting uh, this event whispering this typing event okay so and this typing event is uh, we are listening here so listen for whisper and this typing event so now one thing to keep in mind is here on typing we are emitting uh, to this channel so private chat dot this dot user id name which will be the user id of current user all right so what we want to do is uh, we don't want to uh, emit the, this event on this channel this dot user id instead we want to emit that to our active friends id so that our active friend can receive that all right so otherwise it won't work so in visible friends uh, visible friends window we are in so we are typing so this dot active friend all right so this dot active friend and whispering typing and what that active friend will uh, so in the other users end for which we are uh, whispering this event for example user one is for example this user is this user is typing so if this user is typing it is emitting event to this user's channel so that this user can receive that all right so that is how that works okay so now with that change let's open this up side by side and currently we are just logging in this data let's do okay so now web dev over here is typing so we got this something is whispering e dot uh, instead of this what we are doing is we are applying this dot typing friend equals to e dot user all right so we are emitting yeah emitting whole user object all right so now this should work let's give it a final run okay now web dev is typing yeah we should see web dev is typing and let's see if this is typing we should see yeah so when this typing over here but after some time we need to make it disappear also all right so to do that so here we can uh, put set timeout this will clear this dot typing friend equals to empty object all right so let's give it uh, let's assign this to variable typing clock so that we can clear that timer later typing clock all right so after we created this uh, what we'll do here is if there is already this dot typing clock so if there is already typing clock we'll clear the timeout all right so so we listen for typing event if there is uh, any event we assign the typing friend to the typing user uh, and if there is typing clock already in place from previous listening will clear timeout and start the new timer all right so let's give it a final run
so if someone is typing yeah Subindu is typing it goes after three seconds if this is typing it goes after three seconds all right so if there uh, there was no this let's see what happens let's give it a refresh yeah up to this point fine uh, let's see what happens if I keep typing yeah so it goes like this okay that's why we need that because this will clear out and then start new all right so this is how we show typing status typing indicator so one more thing let's log in with another user so what will happen if three users are in place okay so web dev on uh, my right so if this is typing it will say this is typing all right all right so if if this is typing it says this is typing and here comment uh, let's let's make it a uh, really high number to test okay so it will say this is typing and now let's say yeah now it says when this typing so in this window it is uh, showing both thing we shouldn't be shown right so uh, in this window it should only show uh, if this user is typing this the user that is selected all right so in whatever window we are on the uh, the typing status of that user should be shown so to make that happen what we can do here so we'll only listen if typing friend is the active friend all right so this is typing friend id we'll compare with uh, active friends id so if e dot user dot id is equals to this dot active friend so active friend is the friend that we selected in which window in the um, which window we are in so the users window so for example in web devs window we are currently in so we'll check that so if user id is equals to active friend id then we'll make everything like this okay there. so now we shouldn't listen for any third party so let's refresh all three windows and let's test okay so uh, currently this web matrix is in Subendu's window and it should only re receive the typing notification for uh, typing indicator for this Subendu only so let's so this is Subendu and it is typing yeah Subendu bot is typing now let's switch to Hitesh and let's see Hitesh is typing yeah but we do not see Hitesh is typing we only see Subendu bot typing so if we go to Hitesh uh, window let's type now now we should get Hitesh is typing so this is how that works so in uh, so we successfully created uh, the typing indicator in next video we'll uh, deal how we can show online user and offline user and i'll see you in the next video bye